There's no longer any making sense of this, so instead of planning, I'm going to tap into my subconscious with bad rhymes and drawing nonsense with crayons. And waiting to mess up. Then with tip X and paint to cover it up and I'll write word after word, unplanned but flowing and let it all unravel. And when it does, keep going. For my best way to plan is to do. Good ideas for me come from fucking up a few. But don't ask, I won't have a clue about anything smart you happen to see in this art. And there's no intention in the writing, so any invention you hear that pleases your ear is just a little nugget that comes from a dyslexic fuckwit and not the next Shakespeare, so no, don't lend me your ears. Not for this. But feel free to witness a swing and a miss. And while you're at it, raise a toast before I introduce us both to how lockdown's been sniping love life's lame. Oh, what a shame. It just got us. It's only me again. But I have a lovely note. I am not your enemy, she wrote. On a board she painted, of a castle and moat under attack, and on the back something about vulnerability. I don't know what it was. It wasn't as pretty. Sorry, am I sharing too much? Am I swearing too much? Or... In this fucking shambles of a ramble, should I be more bold and talk about the state of the world? Or stay very quiet? Or get out and riot? Am I even allowed to laugh when two plus two equals four and a half? I mean, what do I know? And how can you know what's true? When fast news is as good as fast food to fuel you? The past is changing fast and can you even remember a scene one before the clock struck 13 one before a call to look within and before the rebirth of original sin oh fuck don't go there the algorithms can hear it's solidarity not double speak in an irony so bleak that the loudest peacocks deafeningly condemn that i should listen to those with no voice via them Maybe that's too harsh, too much. In fact, yeah, it is, I take it back. Plus this picture scares me a touch. I wanna go on, but I hear this warning and I'm still in mourning of ideas undone that good art should trigger someone. And if that doesn't ring true with you, let's debate. Perhaps I've made a mistake. An odd idea in the online era where past failures are forever seen and fuck a vaccine, I want counter cancel cream. And those, yet to fail, who think themselves wiser, lack their own. Don't be an intolerant cunt, moisturiser. I'm sorry, but I did just compare online ethics to cosmetics, so I clearly don't get it. And that's the trend, you see. Most ideas end up as dead ends for me. An overworked image, but some corners are fine, and a sporadic text with a token line, but mostly broken. And yet, what I wrote is now spoken, so at least I can stagger words with intonation to disguise how shit my punctuation is. And to stop this picture looking obscene, I changed the blood spurts on one side to leaves. It grows on me that there could be a metaphor of sorts, as in the middle there are two sorts severance has two forms on the right amputated and bleeding out and on the left liberated for fresh shoots to sprout perhaps that's clever but i'll be candid most art is painting a target around the point the arrow landed 